Well, hello, hello guys. Hey, welcome to Wednesday's Live Play to Create. Um, I am Susan Budge, KiwiLing co-founder and president, and I'm excited just to play a little bit and show you a couple um, designs using our designer templates that will hopefully inspire you in your own scrapbooking and playing um, to document your specific life memories. So today's demo, I thought it would be fun to really focus on this August sketch challenge that we just gave out last week. And if you happen to join um, my live crop this last weekend as well, we designed a couple pages on this. And I just thought it would be fun to just really show you all the possibilities with the designer templates just off of one sketch. So this is actually one layout that we created um, during that live crop using this sketch. And that was a lot of fun, so you could see <clears throat> really fun. This is using the August Kiwi Club kit. And so this really fun compass came in, which that's what stands out to me right here on this, this specific sketch is this fun shape. And of course, like any sketch, you wanna kinda of use it as a springboard. So here's another sample and just a fun little thing. I took the rings and traced them out onto the paper here and here. And I used the sunflower um, also from one of the past Kiwi Club kits, but you could see different style, different paper, same sketch, and you get a different look. Same thing here, or same sketch, different style, um, and different paper. So it's really fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this to the side, and let's play a little using the designer templates to help us create, to create. So I'm going to pull out some background sheets here. And we just usually use um, whatever background sheets you want, and that's what you're going to design on top of. And we're going to keep this really close to help us be our guide. So to start off with, um, I am going to be pulling out some of our borders. If you are new to Kiwi Lane and not familiar with the borders, they're a lot of fun. But to start with, I'm going to definitely throw in some borders to kind of get a design going, really. So there's like this strip. You can do some scallops down here, and then of course photos some kind of fun element in the back. And when I look at that fun circle element, of course, so let's see, they match up on one end. So I'm gonna do something like that. So since we're doing a cross design, so we could do something like that. I'm gonna even throw in maybe a back to back. Since on the other ones I did a cross look. Let's try that. And this is Sunnybrook border that we're using. If you're not familiar with gadgets, so Gadgets is one of our accessory sets, and it comes with these three designs that you see here. So maybe you wanted to do, instead of that circle that you saw in the sketch, more of a background design element. Actually, I think that would be cute poked out there, maybe with a little brad or something there. Isn't that fun with your the layering going on? So that's one option, of course, that's really cute. All right, so just to kind of give you a sense of that, that's what it would look like, right? And then I'm gonna throw in, we're gonna just play with a couple design options so you can see how you change it up. Let me get a real good look here. Maybe we do a photo, right? Another photo. And let's do a couple small ones here. And then just depending on what type of pictures you're scrapbooking, then you could add a couple different elements. Just looking at this sketch, like I love how, you know, like they have like another piece of paper. See that? Looking how fun. And the little tag, tiny notations. Like you could pull in tiny notations. I mean, just so many ideas and inspiration. And they're relative to using your designer templates to help you design with those. So then we can even do something over here. I'm gonna just pull on tiny notations because it's really fun. So maybe you have your little title, something there, do that. And then over here, and by the way, we, we got this sketch from Page Maps. So the reason why we wanted to show not a Kiwi-fied sketch, like the ones that I showed you that are on the back of our inserts is so that you can see anytime you see any kind of general sketch not only can you design and create with the designer templates, but you can duplicate in an easy fashion what you see as well. So you can use that inspiration wherever you find it. And the designer templates are still a great tool and a resource to pull on for that. Okay, 
So I could go on and on, but right there, adorable sketch, right? Super, super easy. Okay, now I'm gonna flip, um, change it out really quickly. Let's just keep those out. So that's gadget number two. Let's try gadget number one. Okay, same style. You guys know I have to change things up every once in a while. So I'm gonna flip that one like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a tiny gadget or a gear from Tiny Accents because I can't help and resist to give you guys that full visual look. And then of course, I just love our adventure set too. So just to kind of give you a glimpse, actually I probably put a gear maybe over here. Actually, maybe what we'll do is put it up here so remember that sketch and had like this circle thing. Well, instead of doing the circle thing, what if we did something like that and we have a whole nother look, okay? And then inside of gadgets as well, we have this third design. So again, you would change up your background, your colors, your feel, your pictures, whatever fit that mold the best. And just to kind of spice it up, I think something cute like that, all right. See, I just, you just play that, you know, we designed the product of the designer templates and the play to create system so that instead of looking at an empty page, you were able to just start playing. And anytime that you combine play and creativity, then what do you get? You get inspiration and you just follow that inspiration wherever it may lead. But if you enter it with a spirit of play, and freedom to allow yourself to play, I promise you'll be surprised how that inspiration will come so easily. All right, so moving on, let's sh just shift gears here because I wanna show you a couple other fun designs with the one sketch as our resource of inspiration. All right, so let's pull out lacy trims. So reminder, gadgets comes with these three designs, lots of fun. So if you don't have this set and you loved it, and like some of you guys were mentioning, great for more of the masculine, outdoors, but really paper. Whatever paper you do, then that's what really kind of sets that mood. All right, so let me pull on Lacy Trims, which is also the other set that we are gonna have a flash sell on. I have used this set often. So this is Lacy Trims. It's been well used, as you can see. There's also this other design. And so in the same fashion of how I was using this sketch as my inspiration, I'm gonna start by simply doing that as well. So maybe we go more um, of a feminine look, right? So you put lacy trims up here. Let's go ahead and grab on a border. And in this, this sketch, actually they have like a little scallop and a strip. So let's recreate something very similar to that fashion. And it's easy too to recreate. So I'm going to take our scallop border here. All right. <clears throat> so maybe, so see how this title's like right here? What if you did something like that? And then what if, what if? <laughs> The options are endless if I'm overwhelming you guys, but I want to show you just one sketch, all the possibilities. Here, I was going to pull out the rings along with this. So what if we did like a background of rings and then a layer here? You can layer up as much as you like. So just kind of looking at some of those details, right? The other layouts we designed, I really didn't need much, but even like this little bubble thing, you know, you could do a little flower or say instead of the bubble, we do a butterfly in the place of. And maybe we'll pull over the same feel of the butterfly over to this side. And another design. And then simply after we design it, which is half the battle, half the battle, which is why this process really does speed it up. You simply trace, cut, ink, replace. It's a very basic, basic, simple for the fact that it's effective. I can't tell you how much more I've accomplished in the time frame of allowing myself to play to create versus the other years of my life scrapbooking. <laughs> so it really does speed up the process. Um, all right, so that is Lacy Trims. And of course, this, this really sunflower one, like we could, 
sweet kid. Bear with me, guys, because I have to see them, too. This is a cute design. Somebody's going to have to create that. That was fun. That was a really fun one. So what if we did something like this? All right. Clean off the board. Clean off the canvas here. Now let's try to do more of a sunny look with lacy trims. You could even layer those two together. Ooh, that could be fun. Two different pops of color there. How cute. And what if we did that? So we have a strip across. You know what, let's change it up. What if we flip it? Instead of downwards, let's flip it upwards. It's still going across the page, right? And we'll line those up on the edge because those will go straight across design, like so. And then you could still do a strip base, something like that to kind of ground that a little bit more, maybe even just a smaller strip. Maybe like, oh, you know, a one inch strip. Let's try that. Let's try that really quickly. And then you would just add some basic little things instead of maybe a circle. We'll add it there. And you don't have to layer tons, but you know, if you're in the mood, then you could definitely throw in like another circle just for fun. Maybe with that sunshine in there, that in there, little circle over here. I don't even know what layout are we on? Three, four, done. That's the next one. Okay, so the last set, of course, <clears throat> I wanted to show you was rings. I've been using the rings um, in a lot of those other designs, but just to kind of show you the set on its own, um, rings comes with four different designs. So here's this one. So I found three of them. <laughs> Where's the little guy? I'm not quite sure. But with that said, these are a lot of fun. So instead, maybe I would do some basic circles here and you could still do just a border or maybe we keep it really clean. And you do a little strip here and we could do, I don't know, I'm just gonna play for a minute here. Let's just see what we can do. Let's see, let's add one more photo. And I kind of like that they're like that. Some people might like the cleaner straight look, but I think that's kind of fun on this layout specifically. I might even pull that up more, pull that down more. Say this is like a birthday page, right? Yeah, something like that. I like clean space. You don't have to fill in all of the species. I, I think it's good, it gives it more tension towards your, your pictures. Anyways, that is a couple layout designs with the Play to Create system as inspiration using a basic sketch. Not a Kiwi sketch, just a basic sketch. Um, of course, we always provide other sketches that you can use as inspiration on the back of all of our packages. So make sure to take advantage of those if you need a little bit of guidance or motivation one time when you're sitting down to get you started. That's what these are for, is there to help you guys out. Um, but just remember to play to create and allow yourself the freedom to play. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. It's hump day, we're halfway through the week. Almost there. And we will chat soon. All right, bye guys.